Only three times in the history of this school have we been in the Final Four. And today, we lace it up against New Haven, a team who hasn't lost in 52 games. We dreamed about these moments since we were five, six years old, and then just to see the whole school, you pep rally, like, it's like a family, to be honest. We got doubted a lot because they, they were on like a 52 game win streak and they got an ESPN top 100 kid. I think any other team probably would have like broke apart or something, but we was just so locked in, like you couldn't do that to us. 32 minutes and we scratch out this 50 game winning streak. You understand me? Yup. Watching us out in warm ups, I just want to let you guys know. I'm so grateful for all the time you put in. Amen. All the time to get us here. Amen. I'm so grateful for that. I am a champion. I am a champion. I practice like a champion. I practice like a champion. Now I'm about to play like a champion. Now I'm about to play like a champion. As a champion, I have pride. As a champion, I have pride. Well, I'm tired of doing less than my best. I'm tired of doing less than my best. The only reason I accept the feet. The only reason I accept the feet. See, my best is a good new age. To run here, you know. Don't forget about the stars. Our down Very fortunate to be at Catholic Central in a place where there we have a lot of good kids. I mean, every group we've had has been a fun group to coach, but uh, this group has been one of the closest that we've had. Uh, the, they've been through some tough times, and uh, um, I think that's really brought us together. Um, but. They're just a great group of young men. A community trying to turn one crushing loss into an inspirational positive. I was on an official visit at uh, Fair State. We were at breakfast that morning and everything was normal and he was joking around. I don't really remember much after that. He had had a massive heart attack and we're sure he passed away there in the cafeteria. Better known to many in Grand Rapids as Southside, at age 51, Jimmy Polakovich was gone. If you don't know who Jimmy was as a man, Jimmy was the guy that took care of our team. He was our team dad. This season and, and everything we're doing right now is something that I know Jimmy was dreaming about. And we've actually probably learned more in how to be strong in a situation like that from Jacob. Uh, I know he's taught me lessons um, about how to handle adversity. And there aren't too many leaders that come around uh, like Jacob Polakovich. Ben Harbor, all right. We have got to make sure that there's a hand up at all times. Got me guards? Bigs, if you're guarding 11, because they side a lot of middle ball screens, a lot of MBSs with number 11. And a man right now, let's put you on one. Shooter, all right. Um, Austin up top, guard him. Make sure you get all your stuff. Double and triple check your uniforms, everything that you need, your shoes, both shoes, your ankle braid, all that mess. Double and triple check before we get out there. Um, we're leaving here in about five minutes, all right? Let's go. Southside on three, brother. One, two, three. Southside! You know, my thoughts on this ride is kind of just about how, how big of a game this is, how long we've really been working for this game to get to this point, and uh, how, how hard we're going to have to work during these next 32 minutes at the game just to be able to pull it off. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of trying to get focused and get in the game early, as early as possible, and get ready. It's a really proud moment. Like, our guys have put in a lot of work to get where we were. We had never been there before. Um, never been in that game. Uh, no team had ever tipped off for, for a, a championship trophy. So um, it was a pretty special you moment. On the MHSAA Network, counting it down to our final championship game of the day, our Class B title tilt between Grand Rapids Catholic Central and the Benton Harbor Tigers. And it's going to be won by Marcus Bingham. He tips it into the backcourt to Jacob Polakovic. Running the point, it's Daryl Belcher starting at right side with Devin Boyd. Top of the key, Polakovic has the ball. Swings it back to the left side. Belcher into the lane. Ten-foot floater, high off the glass. It's good. Belcher on the board. 
I could hear, you know, the Bend Harvest community and our community, um, and it was so loud it was hard to hard to double think. Dribbles, he drives right Kevin side, Moore. gets the floater to fall. Milosevic once again at the block, draws a double team and wide open Marcus Bacon. I didn't feel like we had our legs in the first quarter. Um, I think maybe that was part of the energy that we uh, spent the night before against the number one team in the state. And I um, thought we got down early because we didn't run the floor as well as, as what we did the night before. Um, but once again, our guys battled back. Um, we clawed back. Uh, we got to the rim, uh, made some shots, got to the free throw line, um, and we're able to pull ahead by one point. I think it was going into halftime. We have a one point game at the half. Catholic Central leads Benton Harbor 27-26. In the third quarter, with a few of our guys in foul trouble, we stayed in a 2-3 zone, and uh, they brought their best shooter in, a senior guard. He just hit so many threes in a row, and like, momentum shifted on their side, but like, we never folded. Like, we just always stuck together. Once again, we were in the same situation where we had to battle back, and that's what our guys did. I thought what unfolded after that was one of the best endings to a high school basketball game in the state finals that, that uh, has ever been played. Baseline out of bounds, goes in for three, it's good! Darrell! It's Catholic 55, Benton Harbor 53. Ten seconds left, two-point game. Rebound comes away to Devin Nichols. Eight seconds left. Benton Harbor's got a timeout, by the way. Five seconds, they're going to turn the ball over. No, what a save! And the shot's up and in! Tie game! We're going to go to overtime! What a play and what a save! It's a game of big shots. That game was, there's about five or six times either team should have closed it out and won that game. Two point game, 18 seconds left. Benton Harbor does have a timeout left. Down to 15 seconds. Here's Scooby Johnson taking the three. Knocks it down. He knocks it down with 10 seconds to go. Benton Harbor's on top by one. Five seconds left. Belcher into the front court with three seconds. Two seconds. Can't get it to go all the way down to Benton Harbor. He's won the Class B championship. stayed together as a team like we have all season and like the bus ride was first 15 minutes was quiet and then everyone kind of started talking a little bit and then we just really like we just kind of started to realize how how far we really did make it even though we didn't we didn't finish off like we wish we could have everyone kind of supports everyone here even like I could get the best examples of my dad like how how many people showed up at the funeral you can go to any sport here and you'll see 15 to 20 people you know at least and like, it just, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, I feel like everyone just kind of supports everyone at the school. That's part of the thing I love here. The students, the teachers, the whole, the, the, this Catholic Central, I mean, you know, everybody here, they, they're rooting for you, they want to see you do good. It felt like home. It felt like home. This team really changed my life. Good plans today. Yeah. We'll be back at tomorrow. After school. Let's get busy. Let's get busy, man.